In last week's video, we looked at a number of optimizations that you could do in Python. If you haven't seen that, though, I'd recommend looking at it. I don't actually know which corner it would be in. Uh, but as part of the research for that video, I looked at quite a number of things that I didn't talk about. And one of the things I looked at was the speed differences between if and match statements. And this is something that I'd always been interested in finding out ever since match statements came out. And I watched Indently's video comparing if and elif statements and their speed. And that inspired me to make this video to find out once and for all which is quicker. And the results actually surprised me a little bit. Uh, so maybe they'll surprise you as well. Of course, if you find this video helpful at any point, then consider leaving a like to let me know and maybe subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. If you're feeling particularly generous, you can become either a patron or a member. All the links you need are in the description below. But yeah, with that out of the way, if or match, which is faster? So before we get into this, I just want to say that yes, I know that match statements do have more power than if statements. I know they can be used for different things. I know that their purpose is to be used in ways that if statements can't be used or at least can't be used in a nice to use fashion. So it's not necessarily you should use one or the other here because there are different use cases for either. But I was just curious, especially after the five optimizations video that we did the other week, uh, curious not only to see which, um, you know, whether uh, using elifs is actually faster than just using ifs, but also if matches were quicker as well as more powerful. This is what we're trying to find out here, whether or not you should just use match statements all the time if you're doing Python 3.10, or if there is a little bit of a performance penalty and you should actually be selective in which you're using any given instance. Uh, so as you can see on the screen, I have a benchmark and I have a second benchmark up here. And this one is just, I call it raw. I wasn't really sure what else to call it, but you have just a, a raw <laughs> if statement here. So, or an if statement chain, I suppose. Well, I suppose a chain of four if statements. So if our character equals A, if our character equals B, if our character equals C, if our character equals D, otherwise just do whatever. And then elif, elif, there we go, not elif. Uh, so if character equals A, elif character equals B. So this is just one single with an else. And then we also have our match case down here which just matches the character and then um, does something based on various cases, including our default case, which is an underscore for those that didn't, that didn't know. And then we have our actual benchmark down here, if name equals main, character equals A. Uh, so this is our best case scenario we we're testing first. And then we have various benchmarks down here, uh, passing through the code, passing through the relevant globals, and then running it 10 million times. So we're running it an awful lot of times here. And then if we run uh, this, we can see that we get some interesting results on the best case. And then if we run it again on the worst case, let's say E, the results are much more similar. So let's break down what's going on here. So the first one up here, we have our case, or we have our, our character, which equals A in our first instance. So we get if character equals A, it runs this bit of code. Awesome. But then if you have multiple if statements, you then check if the character equals B, if the character equals C, and then if the character equals D. And then uh, you don't run any of this code, in which case there's, you know, in this case there's nothing, but then you run, you know, continue on down here. In our uh, elif statement, we check that character equals A, and we, oh, yeah, it is cool. And then we don't run anything else. We don't do any further checks on this point because we already know that the character equals A, so it can't be B, C, or D as, um, demonstrated by our else and elif clauses here. The match statement um, works in the same way. So the case is A, so it does this, and it doesn't need to progress any further checking anything. Uh, and that's reflected down here. So if took significantly longer in the, uh, than our if else, which was quicker than our match statement by a little bit. So if else in this instance, or at least in the best case scenario, proving to be faster than the match, in the worst case scenario, they both turn out to be the same because every uh, check is having to be done. So, you know, we're checking everything here as we were before, but we're also running every single check here because, you know, it's not any of them. So we end up in this else. And then with the match, we end up down here. So we're checking everything here. And as you can see, the match is slightly slower in this instance as well. Weirdly, the if else is actually quicker um, as well. I don't know why, maybe there's some extra you know, logic going on in the background to actually create a brand new if statement block or something that doesn't need to be done if there's an if else. I'm not sure. Either way, it's a very limited overhead. So the second uh, benchmark type I wanted to do was 
in functions. So you often hear people saying that you should do something like this instead of something like this if you're going to return something out of a function. So let's see if it's quicker and then we're going to do our match statement as well. And we're going to start with the best case first. So our, you know, our benchmarks look a little bit different. We're passing through our character as normal. We're passing through a function which is different on everyone and then we're running it through again another 10 million times. So we are going to have um, function call overheads in these benchmarks. There's nothing I can really do about that. But in theory, it should be the same across all three, so it shouldn't actually matter. And these ones aren't actually going to take much longer, but you can see that our if statement, so our if else on our match run completely the same this time around, which is interesting. But you can see that this is actually quicker than our, it, uh, than our if else. And this is because uh, when so in our best case scenario, we check to see if character equals A, oh it is, and we just return a value directly. In our if else, you normally see, I mean, <laughs> yeah, some people don't do this. If you had the returns, it would be the same speed. But you do see sometimes where you set a variable and then you return a variable out at the end. And this is slower because you then have the, the overheads of the variable assignment to deal with. And the same, actually not the same with the match case, the match is is just a bit slower. I suppose, it, I think it was just coincidental that it turned out to be the same. In the worst case scenario, you can see that the, you know, the results are very similar. The if is still slightly faster in this case. And I suppose, again, it's because of the, of the function overheads. If we were to replace this with returns like this, and then we ran them again, we can see that the if else is about the same. So there's not really any overheads associated with creating if statements this time around. If you, uh, as long as you use returns like this, it should be fine. It's just the variable assignment overheads you need to be worried about. But the point of the video was, is if or match faster? And the answer to that is if in virtually every simple instance. We haven't tested anything too complicated here um, because the main idea of the video was do we use match or if in simple situations? Obviously, if it's something more complicated, then whether you use if or match will come down to which is more readable at the time. But for simple situations, you should be selective over whether you use if or match and not just assume that the newer feature is better in every single situation because in these simple situations, it isn't. Other than that, it's just a bit of fun to test these things out. You know, sometimes you don't have to be super serious in programming and in all complete honesty, the the performance benefits of using if over match are very, very negligible. So it's just a bit of fun at the end of the day. But that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. If you have any questions about what you've seen or you have any ideas of videos I could do in the future, do let me know in the comments below. I read every single one, so your feedback is greatly appreciated. I also want to thank my amazing patrons and members on screen now, especially Mazar Rashomon III for being so generous. I'll see you in the next video where we talk about a really nice quality of life update coming from Python 3.13. Well, in fact, it's already in uh, Python 3.13. It's already been implemented in one of the alphas. So we're going to be having a look and seeing how that all works.